What's up everybody, I'm Zero Zeus, and welcome back to another Baruto video. So, this is going to be my Baruto episode 129 review. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and let's get right into the video, man. Um, this episode was called Yurashiki's Target, and man, when I tell you, this episode was everything that I've been asking for in Baruto. Like, I'm really hyped making this review right now, because this episode was really cool, it was really fun, and I like the way that they depicted... The way that they just showed Yurashiki just being as savage as he can possibly be. Okay, first of all, this moment that I paused right here on the screen, I thought this was really funny because, not really funny, but I thought it was really cool because of the fact that the way they carried it, like when the episode first starts off, you see Mirai, and basically you know she's in the middle of a confrontation, but you don't know who she's fighting already, right? So it's like, until you see like the red chakra and you start to like piece together is Yurashiki, right? You see all the other shinobi laid around and like, I don't know, it just gives me like great shinobi, like it just gives me the great ninja war vibes, right? And and so it's like she's in the dark and she's like trying to defend herself and then you see Yurashiki come up behind her and it's like, I don't know, it's like they were just taking some horror movie notes or something, I don't know, man. It was really cool, like, so... He pops up behind her. He picks her up. He's choking her like you see right now. And I'm like, man, this dude is savage. First of all, you have to understand what's taking place. And then when you get the oof at the end of the episode, at the end of the review, just wait. Just watch long enough to see what I'm talking about. Okay. So basically, he's like, he can't really get any information from Mirai. And Mirai's like, well, even if I did, it sucks for you because I don't know anything. But even if I did, I wouldn't tell you, blase, blase. So he takes her chakra, right? And one of her special abilities is Genjutsu, which is like, so now you, you get to see like kind of what's going on. Like, okay, he's about to just pull one over on the leaf, right? So basically what happens is he's entered the leaf, first of all. Let's just like, he's came, he's by himself and he's entered the leaf with no problem. Like, I, I just, that's really crazy. Like knowing that Naruto and Sasuke are already there. So basically what he does is, He's going there to extract the Nine Tails Chakra, right? That's what he thinks he's about to do. Or less, that's what everybody thinks he's coming there for. Which, you know, they're not wrong. So, basically what happens is, he drains Mirai's Chakra. It looks like, like you know, like up to the point where she's probably like close to death. But, you know, she's not going to die. You know she's not going to die. Um, and basically, he goes off. So then you have this moment where it's Sasuke and Naruto and Shikamaru and they're all talking. Like, it's kind of like, you remember the moment when Naruto was basically asking Sasuke, was he okay, like, a couple episodes ago? And it's, like, kind of like a recontinuation of that moment, right? And he, they're basically telling you, like, he's not in, at full strength yet. So, you know, just watch out for that. And at the same time, Bruto comes and he busts in the door and he's like, oh, well, it's a mission and everybody's involved except for me. And just because of the fact that, like, the history Bruto has with Yurashiki, like, he just had a run-in with him not too long ago. And you know if he sees him, he's going to be on him, right? And Naruto's basically telling him he's banned from the mission and if he doesn't choose to follow the rules, then he'll have to restrain him right here, right now. And... You know, it's like, oh, this big awe moment, right? And then Sasuke's like, oh, if I could interject. And I like how Naruto's like, no, nah, this this is my son. Like, <laughs> That's what it made me feel like. He's like, you know, it's not your place. But at the same time, he, he heard what Sasuke had to say. Sasuke wanted to be on the two-man team. So it's hype already, Sasuke and Naruto being, and Sasuke and Bruto on the same team. You know, they're going to have like a couple of um teacher-student moments and stuff like that, right? Blase, blase. So, the moment goes on. So, basically, Boruto and Sasuke, they run into, um, like, Awabe, Sarada, Chocho, like, everybody, everybody. Inojin, <laughs> Shikade, they're all together, and they're all going on this little mission to basically ch test out, like, some technology, some new technology that they came up with, and... Basically, it's just funny because they were all, like, rubbing in Boruto's face. Like, he gets to be in the limelight all the time. And now it's like he has to sit back and watch everybody else do the work, right? And so, basically, Boruto's all mad and, you know, all that other stuff like that. And so, it's funny because a couple moments later, everybody's left. Um, it's just Boruto and Sasuke walking by themselves and they're just talking. And Boruto has this moment where he's thinking and he's like, 
Well, if he's going after the nine tail chakra, right? If he's going after my dad, he should know that he might not succeed, right? Because it's going to be a bunch of important ninja, like a, a, a bunch of, a handful of strong ninja protecting him too also, and he's capable himself. And then he comes up with the idea that, you remember how I kept saying in all my other reviews, oh, that artifact that they kept talking about, like it was going to be so important, like it had something to do with something. They weren't saying it, but they kept showing it in every episode. So you knew it had something to do with something. And I kind of pieced together that it might have something to do with Yurashiki, and I was definitely right. And, okay, so Boruto figures out that the actual target isn't Naruto. It's the artifact. And so it's so crazy what this episode turns into, because I was wondering how they were going to get Boruto back in time. Like, how was that shit going to, how was it going to work, right? And so, basically, they figure out what's going on. They run. They, they, they're going to they, they run to where the artifact is and they notice like shinobi just laid out <laughs> everywhere right and it's even this moment where they lead you off where they have this guy that i think was yurashiki that walked into the office with naruto right because they really had you fooled up until when baruto basically tells you what's going on and i thought he was actually yurashiki going to attack naruto but the whole time he was actually maybe he was just in there getting the information trying to figure out where the artifact was or something but anyway he basically ends up there and it's like this little turtle thing and it's like i don't know it's like all futuristic and alien and the way it's talking is like it's like some supercomputer or something right and basically what happens is shirashiki's talking to um he gets caught by baruto and sasuke in the middle of what he's trying to do and he's telling the thing like did you like hurry this up right and Sasuke and Boruto come in and basically he's like oh well <laughs> there's nothing you could do anyway it's all over now right and he jumps back into the light because the turtle starts to like glow up really bright and stuff right and he goes to like this I don't know like this realm this place this dimension is like really colorful and all crazy you're gonna see because it's, it's gonna be the thumbnail I'm gonna make it like a thumbnail it's gonna be really crazy um and basically what happens is is you have this moment where, I don't know, like, Boruto gets knocked back in some type of way. He knocks the turtle, like, out of where it was sitting at, floating. And, I don't know, he just falls, and it just looks like, I, I don't know, like, he's falling. And I'm like, oh, my God, this is how he, tra this is how he travels to the, f to the past. And, lo and behold, him and Sasuke, Sasuke hits this, like, oof moment where he just switched Yurashiki with Boruto, and still at the same time, Somehow they still end up falling off and they end up falling off in their own way and Yurashiki falls off in his own and it's like they land in the leaf and they basically notice that they're in the village of the hidden leaves but back in the day right and I'm like this is so hype this is so hype man I, I even made my review longer than I usually make it man this was a really hype episode if I'm like breathing hard I'm like doing too much I'm sorry um but I'm gonna end it right here this has been my Baruto episode 129 review. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. No, 